All right, Shalom. I'm going to start off by saying all praises to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakakodash. Kodash. Double honors to the elder apostles of Great Millstone. And Shalom to all the Akiyam. I just want to do this, this quick lesson on how Jake is the former of all things. As the scriptures say, and this is a, a video that I saw on Google Plus uh, that a brother uh, shared. A brother shared. And it's... Um, Basically talking about how Jake made made the internet. Jake created the internet. Jake created uh, computers. He cr Jake created uh, smartphones, and pretty pretty much uh, Jake is a former of all things, like the scriptures say. And a, this is a, a a real good video. Um, I might yeah I'm. I'm going to play a little bit of it, especially the important parts like the internet, because Edomites, Edomites always like to say, like you see them in the comment boards, <clears throat> they say, if you, if you hate, if you hate uh, Edomites so much, then, then why do you use the internet? That, well, Jake created the internet. We should be saying that t to Esau. <laughs> I'm going to play a little bit of this Firstly, video. Firstly, let's start with the computer. Dr. Mark Dean is the architect of the modern day PC. He was instrumental in the invention of the PC. He helped IBM make breakthroughs in technology. Millions of jobs in information technology can be traced directly back to him. So what about cell phones? Well, Henry T. Sampson was a pioneer in the technology used in cell phones. He also invented a gamma electric cell. He holds the patents related to solid rocket motors and conversion of nuclear energy into. E so that's what your devil. That's what you devils are gonna find out. We created everything. The Israelites, the Hebrew Israelites, and you, you red Hebrew Edomites took all the credit for all, all of our inventions. You devils didn't invent shit. The only thing you devils invented is destruction. That's the only thing you devils are good at creating: destruction. Well, Salaka, you devils aren't good at creating stuff. You, you, you devils are good at destroying things. But Jake, we have that creative spirit that we got from the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai. We have that creative spirit because we're the children of Yahweh, of Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai. We're the sons of Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai. And they're the creators of the universe. So we have that same creative spirit that the Heavenly Father and His Son have. And you Edomites are just the devil. The, the Heavenly Father created you Edomites to be the wicked. And I'm going to get, I'm going to read some scriptures. I, well, I'm going to play a little bit more of the video and then I'm going to get some scriptures. Electricity. And Jesse Lee Russell was the inventor of digital cell phone technology and the engineer responsible for this multi-billion dollar industry. So without these black men, you wouldn't have a phone or a computer to use. That's right. But what about the internet? I mean, after all, how would you guys? And he's saying black man. Every time, every time you see black, every time you see uh, him saying black man or anything, just just uh, switch it with Israelite because we're the Israelites. We're not black. We're not uh, African Americans. We're not uh, Hispanics. We're not Latinos. We're not Native Americans. We're not any of any of those things that that we've been labeled by Esau. We're the Hebrew Israelites, the twelve tribes of Israel. So anytime you see black, just change that word with you guys with be Israelite. able to hide behind the internet and troll. Hmm. Yeah, and that's that's your Edomites right there. But, so like, let me go back. That's your Edomites to use. But what about the internet? Red Hebrew I mean, Edomites. after all, how would you guys be able to hide behind the internet and troll? <laughs> that's your Red Hebrew Edomites right there. When you learn the truth, that demon comes out of you. Damn devils! And the word devil means deceiver. You devils have deceived the whole planet. Everyone thinks Esau created the internet. Everyone thinks uh, Esau created the smartphones. They give um, they give credit to to devils like Steve Jobs. Steve Jobs didn't invent shit, man. That devil didn't invent shit. He just stole he just stole patents from from uh, Jake's. Just like Esau has always been doing since um, since devils like Thomas Edison. You devils ain't shit, man. Troll. Hmm. Meet Dr. Philip M. Aguali. Yeah, and this, this brother right here created the internet. The internet wouldn't, wouldn't exist if it wasn't for this, this Israelite man right here. A.K.A. the Bill Gates of Africa. He was born in Nigeria. The Bill Gates of Africa. Bill Gates is a, is a nobody. He's a fucking caveman. 
<laughs> so lock it. I'm, I'm, I'm going to play the video and I'm going to get some scriptures. Yeah, in 1954. And in 1989, Dr. Emma used 65,000 processors to invent the world's fastest computer, which performs computations at 3.1 billion calculations per second. His work allowed a large number of computers to communicate at once. So without him, there would be no internet. The internet would not be what it is today. That's right. His computers are currently being used to forecast the weather and to predict the likelihood and effects of future global. And that's spiritual that the Israelite created the internet because... First of all, the Bible says that uh, Jacob is the former of all things, but secondly, that's spiritual because the Yahweh Bashim Shai had the internet created for this truth to be pushed in these last days. Like it says in Matthew, Matthew's, uh, the 24th chapter, it says, This gospel of the kingdom shall be preached throughout all the world for a witness unto all nations, and then shall the end come. That, couldn't, that wouldn't be possible without the internet. So that's spiritual that the Israelite created the internet. Global warming. These three things and then, are. And then the elites, uh, the Ro Rockefeller. I think that that devil who died, David Rockefeller, he said the internet was a mistake. He said the internet should have never been created because he knows he knows that through the internet. Well, he knew because that devil's in the spirit world now, but he knew that the internet would be their downfall because th that's how Esau is being exposed right now. You read Hebrew Edomites are being exposed. Things that most people today could not live without. Benjamin Banneker in the 1750s invented America. Oh, that's that's about it. I just the whole the whole video. Th this video is excellent. This this whole video, but I just wanted to get the 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 computer, the smartphone, and the internet. Israelites created, invented those those things, and I'm gonna get some scriptures to back it up. Um. This is Jeremiah chapter 10, verse 16. It says, The portion of Jacob is not like them, for he is the former of all things, and Israel is the rod of his inheritance. The Lord of hosts is his name. Yahweh Bashim Yahushai. So, yeah, that Jacob, Jacob, is the, Jacob represents the 12 tribes of Israel. So it says, The portion of Jacob is not like them. Uh, Israel is not like the, the other nations. The, the other nations. They're not they're not uh innovative like like we are. They're they're not creative like we are. Like Israelites, we set the trends on the on this planet, man. We set the trends. Everyone follows after the trends that we set. Because we're we're the salt of the earth. Like like and that's another scripture. We're the salt of the earth. If if Israelites weren't on like if the Lord just transported every Israelite on the planet and, and transported them to another planet. This whole planet would be destroyed, man. You heathens would, would just not know what to do. Like this whole planet would just lose its flavor. It would just be it would just uh die. So yeah, we're we're the gods on the earth. That's what you devils are gonna understand. The Hebrew Israelites, we're the gods on the earth. It says he is the former of all things, and Israel is the rod of his inheritance. That's right. I'm I'm gonna get I might as well get that too. Uh, Psalms. Uh, wait, Salakia. Yeah, so I'm at Psalms eighty-two. So, uh, all right, Psalms. This is Psalms 82 and 6. It says, I have said you are gods and all of you are children of the Most High. So yeah, we're the gods on the earth, the Israelites. That's who this is talking about. We're, we're God's chosen people. And you devils, and I'm going to get that scripture too, that you devils took uh, took all the all the um, credit for all of our inventions. You devils try to say, oh, that's another, there's another part of the video I want to play. But right now, let me get the scripture. Um, made uh, that's second Ezra's. No, that's wisdom of Solomon, chapter five. Yeah, this is all right. This is verse one. It says, Then shall the righteous man 
stand in great boldness before the face of such as have afflicted him and made no account of his labors. So yeah, the righteous men are the Israelites, beginning with the elect. <coughs> beginning with the elect, the 144,000. And it says, the righteous man shall stand in great boldness before the face of such as have afflicted him. That's what's happening right now. That's what's happening all over the planet right now. The Israelites are rising up. The Israelites are rising up before the face of such as have afflicted him. That That's you Edomites and you other nations, but starting with you, you red Hebrew Edomites. Starting with you devils, because you devils afflicted us. You devils had us in slavery. You stole, and it says, and it says, and make no account of his labors. So you not not only did you devils afflict us and have us in, in captivity and slavery, you took credit for every, you took credit for all the inventions that we made. You didn't give us an, any any credit. You didn't make any account of, of our labors. You devil, we built everything, and then you devils took credit for it and basically said you you did it. And that's exactly what we're gonna do to you devils in the kingdom of heaven. Because in the kingdom of heaven, the twelve tribes of Israel are gonna have you red Hebrew Edomites and the rest of you heathens in slavery. And we're gonna make you devils build all of our temples, all of our palaces. We're gonna make you devils build our cities, build our gates, and then we're gonna say we, we built it because we deserve that credit. You devils are gonna do all the hard work, and we're gonna get all the credit for it. That's what, that's what's gonna happen in the kingdom of heaven because you devils did that to us. We're gonna um, do exactly what you devils did to us times two, like it says in Second uh, Thessalonians. I'm thinking of another scripture, but uh, that's the one I'm thinking of right now. But I want to get this part, that this other part of the video to prove that that scripture I just read was in Solomon chapter 5. I want to get this this part with this, this devil, uh, Thomas Edison, will try to take credit. And that devil took, he took credit for making a light bulb when Jake made it. Um, let me see, where's that part? Oh yeah, right here. That 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 devil. That guy just looks evil. Trams man. to collect electric power from overhead wires. He also invented an electric roller coaster called the figure eight. Thomas Edison tried to sue Granville Woods, claiming that he was the first inventor of the multiplex telegraph. Granville Woods eventually won. And when Thomas That's Edison right. lost, he offered Granville Woods a prominent position in the engineering department of Edison Electric Light Company in New York City. Granville T. Woods looked at Thomas Edison and said, Nah. Now if I... <laughs> yeah, that's right. You never trust these damn devils. This devil had had some nerve. He tried to take credit for the invention that 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 that, that uh, Israelite man that he invented, and then and then he, when he lost in court, he this devil had the nerve to try to uh, try to hire him. But yeah, that's that's pretty much the point. This this is a uh, this is an excellent video, like I said, and I recommend uh, brothers check this out because the Israelites are the former of all things Israel. So yeah, that's pretty much the point. I want to say call halalim la yahawa ba Hashem yahawa shai ba Hashem rakakudash. Double honors to the elder apostles of Great Millstone and Shalom.